So you take subjects that are content heavy and you have these big textbooks that you have to read through and make notes? Yep, I relate. As a medical student, I have a lot of content to go through and very thick textbooks to summarize. And because of that reason, I had to develop a method of summarizing my notes that's going to take me less time and it's going to be as accurate as possible so that I can use those notes to revise for my exams. Summarizing notes can be very time consuming and very hard, especially if you do not know where to start. Throughout these years, I have found an easy and effective method to summarize my notes so that I do not get to struggle towards my exams. So today I'm going to share with you the best way to summarize your notes for your content heavy subject so that you do not struggle when it comes to preparing for your exams. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for watching one of my videos once again. And if you're here for the second time or third time, but you still haven't subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. And if you are new here, welcome. I hope you do stay and become a part of my journey as I become Dr. Andy. So when I was in high school, I did not have the best method to summarize my notes. Most of the time, I would find myself coping 80% of the textbook. And before my exams, I would look at the notes that I made and look at the textbook and find it very much similar like a copy and paste and that wouldn't be useful because that means that before my exams i actually read the full textbook and that is not really realistic because of time and when i got to medical school i saw how thick these textbooks are and i told myself there's no way i can take notes the way i used to do in high school so i had to develop a method that would take me less time and create the most accurate notes. So I adapted these methods that I'm going to share with you now on how to actually summarize your notes. And I'm gonna share two of those methods that I use most frequently. And I'm gonna be demonstrating examples for you, showing you the notes that I've already made using these methods. And I'm gonna guide you on how to actually make your own notes. So take your pen and a paper because this is about to be an interactive video. So the first method we're going to look at is one page summaries. So this is how I used to make notes in first year. I had this big handwriting. I didn't use all the space that was on my page, which led me to have a lot of pages about one topic. So I was using full sentences and full paragraphs to write notes and this would be overwhelming before my exams and it would literally eat so much space on these pages and i would find myself having like a lot of pages to read through about one topic now i'm going to share with you how i summarize these textbooks into these notes by just using one page summaries so take your textbook and go to the topic you would like to make notes for First, you're going to read the topic and read to understand. Make sure that you highlight each and every key points. The next step is to mark all the subtopics that are important for that chapter. Now take a clean sheet of paper, fold it into half to make an imaginary line. This is to divide your page into two. So firstly, you want to write the topic on top your heading and then you're gonna take the subtopics that you have highlighted and you're gonna start with one subtopic and you're gonna write down all your key important points what you need to make sure of is that you do not cross this imaginary line that we made because you are basically trying to make to turn one page into two pages. So you do not cross this imaginary line and you write in short sentences. So you need to summarize that sentence 
the best way you can and then you're gonna write the sentence here usually i like writing like in small handwriting like this so now i will turn this line into two lines because i'm writing in small handwriting so one line will be here and then the other one will be under so now my notes are going to be in small handwriting and they are now going to cross this line right here and then you need to make sure also that you write in a bullet points bullet points instead of just writing in full sentences and that makes your notes summarize and you make sure that you only write what is only important and not everything so after you have done your reading obviously you will know what is important and what is not that important you will know also what exactly that you need to know by reading your learning objectives and you will only write down exactly what you need so now you're gonna do your second subtopic here You know, third subtopic. You see, you're gonna continue in this manner, and then you're gonna go to the next side if you wanna continue writing down your notes. Here, you're gonna write your fourth subtopic, and then you're gonna summarize everything that's under that in bullet points. In that way up until both sides are complete and you need to make sure you need to try your best to summarize one topic in one page I also use sticky notes to maximize the space on my notes this is where I write any keywords I write any definitions any questions that I have that I still have to research I write any extra information for example I got another study resource besides a textbook I watched a YouTube video and they have added something that I don't have on the main page and I realized that I don't have space anymore that is when I use sticky notes so let's take a look at the notes that I made as an example these are real notes that I made when I was doing general surgery and they are about the same topic that I showed you of gold stones so firstly you can see that this page is quite packed you know but the good thing about it is it is only just one page for the whole topic it's not multiple pages you remember when i said make an imaginary line before you start making your notes it was because of this reason sometimes i forget to make imaginary lines and then you find my notes going all the way towards the far end and then i realized somewhere here that oh actually i need to go back and start that side and then this half of the page is now having less space so if i had made an imaginary line before i started these notes i was going to be able to see that actually i was not supposed to write all the way towards this end i was supposed to end here and then that would have given me enough space to start this writing here right there but anyway it was not a train smash because i was able to squeeze in everything that i needed i want you to notice something so first of all i have my heading there at the top gallstones and then i use bullet points throughout the whole page to make my notes as you can see and there are my subtopics underlined types of gallstones clinical presentation diagnosis complications and treatment i also make use of highlighters to emphasize key important points another thing you can see is that my text is written in small handwriting so that i can maximize the space so the second method i use to summarize my notes is the mind map using mind maps is also the best way to actually summarize your notes and i'm going to show you how i actually make my mind map so usually i like 
to keep my pages on landscape mode like this so that i can create all the space that i need and then first of all i'm just gonna start with the topic right so this is where the top my topic is gonna be just in the middle and then because i've done all the reading i've done all the highlighting of key points and i've taken note of all the subtopics that are in that topic so what i'm gonna do now is to actually write down each subtopic so there's gonna be subtopic number one here right and i'm gonna just summarize that subtopic and create a bubble create a bubble for that subtopic there and then i'm gonna go to the second subtopic make a bubble and summarize everything that i need into this box and then go create another bubble for the third subtopic and that way so now you have multiple bubbles in one page and as you can see that these bubbles are not that big which means you have to use your bullet points you have to make sure that your sentences are short and precise also a mind map is just like a playful way to also summarize your notes and at the end of the day you find one topic in just one page this is one example of a mind map that i made yesterday when i was learning about utis as you can see i have my topic utis there in the middle then i went to create a bubble of okay what is the epidemiology and i wrote in short sentences what needed to go into that box i went on to summarize the clinical features in bullet points i wrote down and i put it in the box and then i went down to learn about the pathogenesis so i had to summarize in my own words what the pathogenesis is and also summarizing in your own words helps you retain that information because it helps with your memory as well so instead of copying and pasting whatever you see on the textbook you have to read understand it and write what you understand in summary and because i had read some resource online and i realized that actually my space is full all the information that i got from the textbook filled up my whole page i then made use of a sticky note so that i can write all the extra information that i need but you can see under the sticky note there's still like more information and at the end of the day if i have like 10 topics to go through it means that i will only have 10 mind maps to go through so we've come to the end of the video let me know if this was helpful and comment down below if you have any kind of video that you would like me to make please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and share it with your friends and don't forget to turn on those notification bells to be notified every time i post the video i'll see you again on my next video bye